Save us from the £100 fill-up. That's my message to Chancellor Rishi Sunak as the price of petrol and diesel soars and the government's tax take on that fuel keeps rising. As oil prices increase and with some retailers accused of profiteering, petrol and diesel prices are spiralling. Petrol hit an average of 172.73 pence per litre on forecourts across Britain on Sunday. That's according to the AA. And diesel prices are even higher, averaging 182.59 pence. Which means if you fill up a diesel family car with a conventional 55 litre tank, that now costs over £100. Petrol and diesel prices are already up around 40% on a year ago. And with oil prices heading up over recent weeks, it seems there's more to come. Most drivers fill up twice a month, and that means motorist fuel bills have surged almost £60 a month since last May, an extra £800 a year. And of course, the increase for commercial drivers and those running a van for work is far more. As petrol and diesel prices rise, the Treasury gets more and more VAT, accounting for 20% of the price we pay, of course. Chancellor Rishi Sunak cut fuel duty, that's a separate tax, by 5% back in March. But many retailers have been accused by the government of not passing that tax cut on. And even with that fuel duty reduction, around half of what we pay on the forecourt still goes to tax. And we're buying fuel for our vehicles out of our post-tax incomes already. The high cost of diesel in particular is, in my view, a disgrace. It's a workhorse fuel for four million van drivers and countless haulage companies across Britain. Their rocketing bills will be passed on to consumers, pushing up broader inflation and the cost of living for everyone. And with oil now above $120 a barrel, two-thirds up on a year ago, the price of petrol, diesel and a host of other energy sources is, I'm afraid, set to spiral. So, Chancellor Sunak... It's time to cut VAT on petrol, diesel and household utility bills while you're at it. And that's our On The Money question today. When will Rishi Sunak finally cut tax on fuel?